California has been building a lot of rail. We've been spending a lot, a lot, a lot of money building these rail stations. What's happened in the, as a result of this? Putting in a transit station makes a location more accessible, right? That should be capitalized into higher land values, and higher land values should translate into more development activity, higher density of development. So our suburban stations are actually seeing more retail growth, and the central city ones are seeing a decline in retail employment. This is exactly counter what all of the sort of transit planners and urban planners would have thought. You should be getting growth in these kind of centrally located places where the trains run frequently and on average you're going to have more people riding. And that's not at all what we're seeing. Are people interested in doing their kind of substantial shopping right next to train stations? Or do people want to drive their car to a mall in the suburbs and park in a space and go into Ikea? I think that's probably part of what's going on, and particularly given that you know at least three of the cities in, uh, in the sample, certainly LA, San Diego, and Sacramento, these are car-oriented cities. Although there are higher land values close to the CBD, which might make uh, development more attractive, these are also going to be areas that are very densely built. We're going to have to do some kind of a teardown in order to do new development and increase the density. So, you know, in a sense, the suburban Greenfields development is easier to do, and that's why developers go there in the first place. The impact of a train station on the surrounding neighborhood is not going to be the same for all neighborhoods, right? And so it's sort of a, a silver bullet to fix declining areas. I think we've got a lot of evidence to suggest that we can't uh, rely on this happening. This is not consistently going to be an effective strategy for generating economic development. If the point is just to get people from place to place using existing patterns, you want to put your train stations where we have been putting them, which is in employment centers that are already there. And so you increase the ease of access between these existing population employment centers, but it doesn't necessarily grow the areas around them.